Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise from D. Rogers. Welcome back. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I know, I've been shopping a lot. <laughs> I need to put a, um, a muzzle on my wallet. But uh, the Dollar Tree has so many uh, fun new items and I haven't been able to resist them. So I thought it would be good to share them with you. I know when I go looking at Dollar Tree, it's helpful to know what I'm looking for. So um, that's what I hope to do is just help you know what to look for because sometimes that's just the key. First, I wanna share with you uh, that Big Lots, if you have a Big Lots store, they are 75% off of Easter right now. And I was able to find a, another um, little Yoda here, baby, baby Yoda, and he was only $1.99. And then I also found if you got, like to buy um, toothbrushes with themes on them, I found toothbrushes there cheaper than the Dollar Tree. So they had the, um, the Hot Wheels toothbrushes, and they were two for a dollar. They had these Shopkins Firefly, three in a pack for 75 cents. And then I found these Barbie toothbrushes. I'm doing a lot of Barbie boxes this year. And it's $3, which is not cheap for toothbrushes. But for um, themed toothbrushes, uh, that's cheaper than Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, I think, has two for $1.25. So this was all at Big Lots. And then um, Emily from Love in a Shoebox shared with me these new um, journals that I love and I found them today. This one is a unicorn and on the back is a kitty corn. They're a dollar each. I found them in two places in the store. There was a box in the toy department and a box near the cash register. There were some um, sloth stickers for a dollar, some unicorn and kitty corn stickers for a dollar, really pretty mermaid notebook for a dollar. The back just has the little mermaid again. A sloth. It says no hurries, no worries. And I'm going to open one up for you. I mean, now the Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five. These are the kind of things we, um, you know, have to try to look for. So this is what the journal looks like. And when you open it up, it has lined pages and then a little sloth in the corner. So really cute. Here's just some more stickers. Here's some mermaid stickers. And a little mermaid, kind of like a tall, thin notebook. Really cute. So that was all from Big Lots. All right, let me share with you my Dollar Tree haul. Okay, the first thing I picked up were some new lettering stickers. Uh, as you know, I like to um, put letters in my the top of my boxes that say you are loved or Jesus loves you. And I really loved these. Um, it's kind of like a rainbow that like goes throughout all the letters. I thought those were really pretty. I've never seen those before. So I got some of those. I found some iron-on transfers. I saw Jeannie from Batman's Boxes. She's a new YouTuber and she's been a friend of ours and a viewer for quite a while. So I encourage you to check out her channel. She ironed on a transfer on a baggie instead of stenciling. So I thought I would give it a try. Thanks Jeannie for the uh, inspiration. Dollar Tree has some of these iron-on transfers. This is a sloth. I know these have been there before, but I never purchased them in the past. I've never seen this one. It says, Adventure Awaits. I thought that one was really pretty. So I'm gonna give that a try. I love inspirations from other uh, shoeboxers and YouTubers. Um, okay, if you're always looking for men's socks like I am, <laughs> Dollar Tree has some nice men's socks in. They are $1.25 for three pairs, but I don't think that's a bad price. Uh, it's Men's Athletic, three pairs. Juncture is the brand, and this is size 612. And they feel like a really nice quality. 
and I do like sending black socks. So that's something to look for. They also have these Essie socks, which are a repeat item. They used to have like a big heart tag. Now they have a square tag that says Essie on it. Um, they're really cute. This one is a kitty cat, and then it has a striped pair underneath. And I really like the quality of these. They're some of my favorite brand socks from the Dollar Tree. So that's a little kitty cat on there. I found two little stuffies that I thought were adorable. Now this one you've seen me use. I used it in my Barbie box. If you haven't seen that unboxing, go see that. I love that little dog. And then I found this cute little dog. And I don't always love all the stuffies from Dollar Tree, but once in a while they have some really cute ones. And then I will have a tendency to buy those, buy multiples of those. But I thought those two were really cute. I found these new journals. These are really pretty. There's actually three styles. I bought two of the styles. This is what they look for, or what they look like, and they, these were located in the um, school area where all the school supplies are. It has like a, um, a little, you know, like a rubber band to go over top of it. And then when you open it up, it has two little lined booklets in here but really pretty. This one's a floral print. This is actually a floral print too. Um, they may not be new, but I had never seen them before. I also found these pretty journals, which I was excited to find. This is really cute. It's like a little pink journal with dinosaurs on it, and I'm doing a little girl's dinosaur box this year. And it's lined, and then it has like a faint picture of the dinosaurs on the pages. So that's really cute. And then they have this really pretty one that is purple with butterflies. And same thing, when you open it up, it has like a faint imprint of the butterfly. So really pretty too. I have seen these in the past, but I think, I think they redid them. Um, if you're like me and you pack in, um, sometimes, most of the time, I pack in an OCC box, um, I'm always looking for something small and compact as far as coloring or an activity. And these are really nice. They're color by numbers. They're mini color by numbers. And I have seen these in the past, but it just looks like they redid the covers. And when you open them up, it has numbers and then colors, but they don't really need to do it exactly by that. They can just use them as coloring pages. So that's really cute. That's a C one. This is a dinosaur one. I found these by the coloring books. This is really cute. This is an elephant and a monkey. This is a different, this is um, find and color. So this is a little bit different where they have to look for the shape and then color it. So that's really fun. That's a little bit different, but it does have a dinosaur on the front and it comes with all these little markers here, five little markers. This is a poly pocket. I've never seen that one before. Let's see, this is what it looks like on the inside. That's really cute. And this one is an LOL. I've never seen this before either. So I really like these because, like I said, I'm always trying to find things that will fit very compact in a standard size shoebox, and those will work very well. So these are, they've had some versions of these in the past, but these I think are all new versions. Let's see, I'm just going to pull out the main four. So it's a poly pocket with a maze on the front. Really cute. And then when you open it up, it has mazes. So great activity book, and it's a great size. So there's a Barbie Maze Mania, that's new. Really bright and colorful. Little people. That one's really cute too. You know, I think toddlers, well, some of these look too hard for toddlers. Some of them look easy enough for a toddler. But that one's really cute. 
And then this one's really nice, it's a Hot Wheels. So on the front is like a little, that little maze game where you try to get the ball, which I can never do. You try to get the ball in the hole. <laughs> but those were really nice. I snatched a bunch of those. Um, this was, I have never seen before. It's a Funtivity Paw Patrol activity book. And this is Let's Explore Things That Go. So it has to do with things that go. So it's got some really nice pictures things for him to activities to color talks about police vehicles I've never seen these before I've seen sticker by number books but I've never seen Barbie sticker by number books which is the Barbie brand and the stickers are fantastic these are all Barbie stickers and then they put them on the um, the images have numbers to correlate to make the scene there's a coloring coloring page, an activity in the back, and another coloring page in the back. So really cute. And there's a similar one for Polly Pocket. Very cute also. Same kind of thing. There's all the stickers. And then here's all the activities. So really nice. I got a couple of those. I've seen these from some shoe boxers um, packing, starting to pack them. These are almost like a comic book for uh, Frozen. I really like the images. Maybe it's Sonia that showed these to us. But I really like the images. You don't have to be able to read the language to get the idea of what's going on. But the images are just really bright and beautiful. And there's also a Disney princess one. So if you're doing some Prince Disney princess books, these are really nice. I found a couple of new books. This is called The Ant and the Grasshopper. I'm going to do like a grasshopper book and I'm going to use this story. Really cute pictures. If you haven't checked out books at the Dollar Tree, you might want to check them out. They really do have a pretty good selection of books. And then I found this book on friendship, Bible Stories Friendship, for my friendship box. And this is really nice. It's Bible stories that revolve around friendship. Okay, what else did I get? I found a new bag. Looks like a watermelon. Yep, for a watermelon theme. Thought that was really cute. That was near the registers up front with all the bags. I found some tattoos. You've seen tattoos before, but these are Paw Patrol tattoos. Those are fun. I don't ever hardly go into the $3 and $5 section. So our my stores all have that new aisle that you can go into that has the $3 items and the $5 items. However, this caught my eye and I snagged it. This is a Scooby-Doo shirt. So if you need a shirt for a theme, they have lots of really nice quality shirts. I don't always spend $5 for a shirt, but I looked online for a Scooby-Doo shirt and it was much more expensive. So $5 seems like a pretty good deal to me right now. So I got this for my Scooby-Doo box. So I was really excited about that. And they had lots of different themes to choose from. All right, we're going back to socks for a minute. Um, they have some stitch socks, if you're doing a stitch box, that are really cute. And I found these really cute men's socks. It's like a fish. And I'm doing like a fisherman box. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get all these boxes done this year, but, you know, these ideas swirl in my head all the time. These are really pretty books. Um, I've never seen these before. 
let's see, it says notebook. It doesn't say how many pages, but there's a good amount of pages, but they're really pretty. It says be good, do good, feel good. And then it has all these colorful line pages in here. These were located in the school department. And this says make today count. And the inside is dotted pages with this like diamond shape at the top. So those are very pretty. Yep, there's more. This is a screwdriver set. It's really small but I've never seen it packaged like this. So the screwdriver's in here, and these are all the bits around the screwdriver. And this was actually near the register rather than in the tool department. So if you're interested in including tools and you're worried about space, that was a really nice size. And it looks to be like pretty good quality, like quality I would get at um, Harbor Freight. So I got a couple of those, those were new. I love these cars. These are not new, but my a store just restocked these cars. These are really nice quality. Trish from Birdfee just did an unboxing with one, and I used one in um, one of my boxes this year. I love the quality. Um, the colors are bright, cheerful. So be on the lookout for those. All right, these are new. I've never seen these before. Here's my other screwdriver. These are called click and snap sensory toy for stress relief. So it's like a fidget toy. Uh, blue and green, blue and orange, and orange and green. I grabbed a bunch of these. These were located um, in one store near the register and another store in the toy aisle. I found some pretty material. I always check out their, their craft fabric. They had this mermaid under the sea material. So I always look for those. They had a cute little sunflower pen near the register. And I have a real cute um, sunflower dress that was sent to me by Bev Brees that I probably won't get together this year, but uh, at some point I'm going to do a sunflower theme for it. And then I love these tins at the Dollar Tree. I've used them in some of my unboxings. This one is a shark theme. These are really cute to put treasures in. And these are always located in the school department where all the school supplies are. That is it, but that's quite a haul. Um, I'm still also checking out Walmart and Target. I walked into Walmart yesterday, went into the jewelry department, I promise you it was not there before and there was tons of jewelry um, and the jewelry is now ringing up 25 cents at Walmart. So I got earrings, cross necklaces, some other necklaces and Target still has some things 90% off. I found a couple of bunnies, uh, stuffed bunnies and um, a few toys on clearance. So um, be sure to check out my Instagram page. I'm at G Gina D. Raj, G-I-N-A-D-R-O-G, which stands for my official name, Gina Denise Rogers, but I go by Denise. And that's where I usually post things a little more instantly for you. So if I find something, I will post it right away, um, rather than doing a haul and uploading it. And, um, so if you, you know, want to take a peek at that, um, I encourage you to do so. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for coming by and taking some time to check out my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope all of you guys are doing great. I really enjoy being a part of this community and engaging with all of you. It's really special to me. So thank you so much. God bless you. Keep packing and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.